<laughs> now there's two there's two right wings. There's a corporate right and there's the so-called Christian right. I right. hate to put the name Christian on to them because if JC were here today, I think he'd be a little upset. Totally, he would be. Um, but, um, People are calling him Christian nationalists, and I like that. Yeah, I heard, I heard another term yesterday, Christo-fascist. Uh, it really is It's heading toward that because the, I mean, the textbook definition of fascism is when you align the corporate state with the governmental power, and essentially they work in collusion with each other to, you know... Rob everybody blind. <clears throat> rob everybody and call the shots. And, and they've successfully used the Christian right as tools for many years to do their work, to get people out you know, get all the people out who hate gay people, get all the people out right. who hate, 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 hate women and women's rights and believe that there should be the uterus police and whatever. Right. You know, they, so they've manipulated that. Uh, Mike Huckabee, Republican candidate for president, ran this commercial for Christmas, and many thought that the shelf in the back looked like a cross. You were asked about it on CNN, and this is what you said. It reminds me of what Sinclair... Uh, uh, Lewis once said, he says, when fascism comes to this country, it will be wrapped in the flag, carrying a cross. What does that mean? What? Uh, fascism or definition of fascism? Do you fascism? believe that Mike Huckabee is oh, a No, I didn't say that. I said it reminded me. As a matter of fact, they c caught me completely cold on that. I had not seen the ad, and they just said there was a cross there. And, you know, uh, it was an instantaneous reflex because I uh, knew of Sinclair's Lewis about being cautious. Because, you know, I, I, what prompts this is things like the Patriot Act. You know, let me if, go wait, back. No, no, if you're not a patriot... But let me go they, back to this ad. You do not believe that Mike Huckabee, that ad commercial, rep represents the potential of fascism in the form of a cross. No, but I think this country, a movement in the last hundred years, is moving toward fascism. Fascism, today, the softer term, because people have different definitions of fascism, is corporatism, where the military-industrial complex runs the show. When they, uh, in the name of security, pay, pay, uh, pass the Patriot Act, you don't vote for it. You know, you're not, a, you're not patriotic America. If you don't support the troops, you, uh, and you don't support, uh, uh, if you don't support the war, you don't support the troops. It's that kind of antagonism. But we have more corporatism and more abuse of our civil liberties, more loss of our privacy, national ID cards, all this stuff to coming has a fascist tone to it. And the country's moving in that direction. That's what I'm thinking about. This was not personalized. I never even used my opponent's names, if you, if you notice. So you think we're close to fascism? I think we're approaching it very close. One, there's one, uh, there's one uh, documentary that's been put out recently that has generated a lot of interest called Freedom to Fascism. And we're moving in that direction. We're not moving toward Hitler-type fascism, but we're moving toward a fa softer fascism. Loss of civil liberties, corporations running the show, big government in bed with big business. So you have the military industrial complex, you have the medical industrial complex, you have the uh, financial industry, you have the communication industry they go to Washington and spend hundreds of millions of dollars that's where the control is I call that a soft form of fascism something that is very dangerous